I'm not gonna stitch this woman's video because she was being vulnerable at the moment and I wanna protect her in that. And I just, I'm just gonna hope that this video finds her if it's meant to. But in her video, she basically said she felt like she sabotaged the man that God sent for her to be with. Now, I'm just gonna speak from my personal experience because I don't know her. But as someone who used to be super duper religious, every man that I ever said that about, yep, every, there was more than one. Every guy that I fucking met back then was sent by God and the one. I was delusional. But every man that I said that about, <laughs> it wasn't self-sabotage when I look back on it. It was me having normal reactions to their bullshit. I wasn't argumentative. I was standing up for myself. It wasn't that I didn't trust them, it's that they were untrustworthy. It wasn't that I couldn't be adaptable and flexible, it's that these men were requiring me to practically sell my soul to them. It wasn't that God sent them to me, it was that I was fucking lonely and just wanted to be picked by someone. A lot of religious people get married because of pressure within the church to be a wife. Or maybe they wanna hurry up and have sex. Or maybe they did and they're pregnant and they're trying to make it right so that you know they can keep up appearances within their church a lot of men do it because it's they have to look like you know they want to be promoted within the church so they have to have the look of a you know godly family so they have to get married the christian divorce rate is just as high as the non-christian divorce rate and they still cheat, and there's still abuse, and there's still abandonment. And I'm sorry, I'm still a firm believer that you can't ruin anything that's meant for you. you. You just can't. I don't, if it's meant for you, I don't think you can ruin it. Now, there might be a situation where you meet someone amazing and y'all grow apart. That person was meant for you for that season in your life, for whatever reason. But because of that, we need to realize that some people are only meant to be in our lives for a season. And I think with religion, we really, a lot of us, a lot of people are not hearing God. They're hearing loneliness, desperation, and the voices of other people. And all the women in the comment section who were like, yeah, I feel this. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and be willing to bet that it's the same case for a lot of those women. I've known a lot of women in my lifetime who spoke about submission and God sending them the one, and I'm just gonna tell you this right now. A lot of them were very lonely, desperate women who were repeatedly taken advantage of by men. They were looking for a king to serve, a man to be their king, and they got a man. They got a man. Women who are religious are dangerously targets for abusers because they know they can open that Bible and say, you're supposed to submit to me. I'm supposed to be the leader. This is God's will. And they can use that against them. And the women will be like, okay, yep, you're right. That's what God says. So from personal experience and from seeing it around me, I just, my, my, my auntie antenna is just beaming right now. When a woman says this about a man, it's a really, it's not a good man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And all the self-sabotage was simply you just rightfully responding to his toxicity. Or when it comes down to it, y'all were trying to make a relationship work that just wasn't gonna.